like super excited. We're gonna be unboxing my haul from Equadonera. Sorry, I look a mess and the light's a little weird because it's actually pretty late. We um sorry if you hear my kid. Uh but we got to San Francisco like at eight in the morning. Um and the Orchid Society show started at 10, so we got there pretty early and it was raining. Um so I look like chaos, but we're going to be unboxing some Equigenera plants. I picked them up at the pop-up, so they didn't have to be shipped, so we'll see if that makes a difference. Oh, they're kind of, they're kind of soggy. I'm not sure if that's for the rain or if that's from, uh, um, so I'll bag them off in their travel. So the first one is Anthurium Beachii, so I'm super excited about this one. I think like it's packaged really well. There was so much people today, like it was chaotic. I think I waited 30 minutes to pick up my order. Okay. It's the best way to open this without tearing everything apart. I think I got it. This comes wrapped in some paper to protect the leaves. Oh, oh, it has some mold on it. It seems like it was releasing a new leaf, a baby leaf, and it's got some mold on it. So let's go ahead and rip that off. By the way, I have some water with hydrogen peroxide on the side, and I have other just like water vessels i like to recycle my like pasta sauce and stuff so you might see those later on too so it looks pretty nice but i mean it has its so here's the plant this is a, a seedling so this is a small a small one they had some really big specimens at um at the pop-up but this is the one i had ordered just a small seedling it's really cute. You can tell it was sprayed with something. It has a little bit of white powder. Not sure if you guys can see that. It doesn't look like pest. It just looks like it was sprayed with something. Okay. So let's check out its fruits. It doesn't smell bad. Sometimes when I watch videos, people are like, it smells really bad, but I don't think it does. And it doesn't feel over moist. I think it just had like a long travel. So let's see. Oh, it's a little, let's see. You guys can't even see what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, it's a little squishy, I think. A couple of broken roots. Yeah, they're just falling apart. There's some rot in here. Not nothing crazy. Like a lot of them still look pretty good. Um, you can tell there's still some like uh wood chips in there some cold core but nothing crazy but yeah you can see some like rot right there and it's getting a little little squishy in some areas so we might have to chop it up the overall in general looks really good oh there's like an, a growth eye right there it seems like there might be a couple growth points in case we have to cut it off. But for the most part, it looks nice. It's definitely not the biggest, but I think it's really, really cute. And like I said, I don't think it has any pests on it. So 
So yeah, that might be just a little bit squishy, but nothing crazy. I'm just gonna chop off a couple little edges. Oh yeah, all these are broken. And like on some parts they look white, but when you go higher up, the roots like all dead. I remember watching this YouTuber who was like, oh, I always cut off the, the little, uh, little root ends. I'm like, why? Like they're still good. And now I see why, cause they all break. But see, like, Part of the root looks really good, and then it's like where it's broken and ugly, and then it gets good again. So then we'll just cut it up to that part. You know, sometimes you wish they arrived perfect, but they don't. And then, but that, I mean, that's part of the process. You want to watch your plants grow and get better. And it's always rewarding when they start getting new roots and they start acclimating to your space. And for like, I think we got this for like 20, 20 if not 30 bucks, it's, it's a good deal. Hmm. Just gonna do a little bit more trimming. And like they're dead, you can basically rip them off with your hand. Oh yeah, see, it's very broken. No, you guys can't see what I'm doing, but it's all right.
old stuff is like coming off in the top. I don't know if you guys can see that, that's all mushy. Okay. I think that's good for the most part. Yeah, that looks really good. You guys hear my kid? <laughs> okay, so this is basically what we're left with, which is still a pretty good amount of roots for this for this Ethereum. So I don't think it'll drop leaves. I don't think it's gonna go really crazy, but we're still gonna put it in um, some hydrogen water and see see how it does. number one. I think what I might just end up doing is just opening them all up and then just showing you how they look and based on how they look we'll just um we'll just keep it moving from there. Okay so the second plant is Philodendron Gloriosum Verde. I got two of these, one of them for my sister-in-law for Christmas, and then just one for me. I already have one Gloriosum, but it looks really cute, so I got two of them. Okay, so let's see how they look. Gloriosum typically ship pretty well, so I'm not like afraid that's going to be all crazy. I was out there, I saw the California Arrows guy. I don't know if you guys have been following his page, but I follow him. And he, um, I guess, got a job with Echo Genera and was, I think he was out of LA or something. And now he's, oh no, and now he's in San Diego. So this one is basically gone. So this one's gonna need a lot of love and some affection. It has a new leaf on unfurl furling, but I think it broke. I don't know if you guys can see that. But the node is still really good. So if anything, if it needs chopping or if the leaves will fall off, it's okay. Oh no. You can already see there's, you guys see that? There's a broken, a rotted root right there. Oh no. And this one, the new leaf has a brown spot. So, I mean, this is what happens when you guys get imports. I just wish I would have seen it. I would have been like, hey, can you guys replace it? But that's what happens. Sometimes you go back to the stumps. But, see, came off just like that. Uh, and I don't know if you guys can see, but... There's some like rotted roots in there. So not high hopes for this, but we'll see. We'll see if we can save it. And if not, you know what? It's 20 bucks. Yeah, I got everything at their sale that they had. I had ordered some plants just for me because we had my baby and my husband got me some like push presents. So I was like, okay, well, they have a sale now. Like, can I get more? And he looked at me like, you're crazy, but uh, go ahead. Okay, so this one's going to need a lot of love. <laughs> I thought the roots were going to be horrible, but they're actually even better than the Ethereum. Actually, uh, I don't want to speak too fast. <laughs> a lot of these are all dried up. 
Yeah, they're all dried up. And you can see that. They're not the best. I mean, they're not the worst either, but. <sighs> so this is probably not gonna be my sister-in-law's because she needs a nice one. I told her I was gonna get her one and I told her I was there getting her one. So she's gonna get a nice one. But I think I'm just gonna put this aside and this one's gonna need some I almost just want to soak it in water for a while and then see if it comes back. But the roots, to be honest, are not that bad. It's just the little ones are are all crispy. But the the long ones, like, they're actually pretty good. They're pretty healthy. I don't, nothing really feels smushy. There's just some that are, like, just really dry. So I'm just going to put this one aside because this one's going to need a lot of time. Okay. By the way, I have, like, a big mess right here. My husband's going to come out and freak. And I'm not sanitizing my scissors in between because it's all rot. <laughs> so I'll probably clean it. I'll probably sanitize them once um, I'm ready to put them in their own individual bins. Okay, the next one is my philodendron pastodanum. I've been wanting to pass down for so long and I'm so happy to finally have one. So let's see how it is. I'm excited. I'm kind of kind of disappointed after the Gloriosum, but I got two of them and I already have one. So I don't mind popping it up. It has a lot of nodes. I feel like it could be safe. I think it's just really thirsty. yellow leaves but it should be okay it should be stable i'm sorry there's a glare in my glasses i'm sorry maybe i should scoot over a little bit okay uh it looks so moist let's see what's going on okay so far so good i do see some yellowing and this is what we got remember with imports it's it's gonna happen you're gonna get the yellow leaves Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Okay. So these are the leaves. So the bottom one's a really yellow one. And then we got this one and then a smaller one. I think this is maybe the newer one or maybe this is the newest one. But these two are the biggest. Um, this one's starting to yellow, so it's probably going to go. This one's going to go to... Um, which sucks, but we'll see. But it has a new leaf coming in right there. So I'm really hopeful and I don't see anything black. So let's see how it is. I'm sorry, I should probably really maybe lower this some. I just didn't want you guys to see my, my big old belly. <laughs> but that probably will let you see what, what I'm doing down here. Okay. I'm just trying to rip open the roots. I was really hoping for some really big leaves on this path, Santa. I've seen some YouTubers like really get some beautiful leaves, but this is nice. And I mean, for what I paid for, like it's a really nice specimen and it's gonna be very well loved here. I think these are the worst roots. <laughs> oh my gosh. They're really long roots. Can you guys see that? But they're brown. This one's already snapped. And it's like, I don't know if it's rotting the base already. Yeah, these are all brown. This isn't smushy though. This is a good thing. It's not smushy. Every 
thing else is smushy at all. I mean, these don't feel smushy. Though. I think they're just brown. So there's a difference in the coloring. Some of them, like, maybe I just don't want to cut them. That's why. Um, but some of them look okay. They do need trims, but the plant overall looks good. It doesn't look too crazy. Yeah, like all these little side roots are gonna have to go on this. I know some people are probably cringing like she used her scissors but it's all right it's all dead already it's just coming right off and i don't really see nodes where i can just propagate it from in case it goes so i'm just hoping and praying that it makes it through these are probably gonna be in water for a very long time rehabbing but they don't feel smushy, that's the thing. Sorry. I know you guys can't quite see what I'm doing. Maybe if I bring it this way. Just gonna put a little bit of hydrogen peroxide in here. And then, since it's not very many roots, I'm just gonna dip it in here. Let some of that hydrogen peroxide kill off some of the germs. I'm just gonna leave that in there for just a few minutes. I don't like to leave it no more than like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, well that's two plants. Let's see how the rest go. Hmm. I think these plants had a very long trip. So this is, I think, the biggest one I got. Um, this is the Philodendron Plowmanii. So I already kind of peaked, and it's a little yellow, which is, like, I keep saying it's okay, but you always want them to come in pristine, right? But, I mean, what do we expect? They traveled hundreds of miles. They've been in bags. They've been in boxes. I think I would feel the same way if you put me in a box for that long. up there was like a ton of people like it was so crazy like my husband and I went with our son and there was like other people with their kids there and it was insane like oh it was insane like you couldn't walk you, like you were rubbing up against everybody and we first went to like the botanical gardens for like, like two three hours before we even went to them to the um to the show we didn't get to the show till about 12 and it was insane like there were so many people like everybody was like this um when we got to the botanical gardens we like we wouldn't get lunch because um there was like a long line that came out the building for people who were trying to pay trying to get in um so we're like yeah let's let that line go down um but once we got in like it was still insane i think we didn't leave till about like one or two and my husband had to get out and he had to take my son out because it was just so packed um, I'll show you guys some, uh, some film of it, but it couldn't get much because you were like this next to the other person you were trying to film, but the other person was trying to like get into their plant. And after a while, I was like, no, that's through this. Okay. So when it comes to roots, all these ones are dead. 
You know, sometimes I wish like they could send you a picture and be like, you know, this is what your plant looked like right before it got sent out and it died. But the roots don't look bad at all, actually. They look really, really good. There's some some ends that are broken off, but for the most part, like it looks really, really good. Mm. Yeah, so I might, it feels very dehydrated. Like maybe I should just stick it in water and see how it responds. But I love the redness and look, it's putting out a new leaf. So try to get in water as soon as possible. I almost just want to put it in as is. There's just some roots that are bothering me down here. Just trim the ends of them. <laughs> but these in general look fairly good. Like I said, they just look dry. And a lot of them are broken. They probably break when they put them in the sphagnum moss and get them ready for shipping, which is just as expected. You just wish they came in perfect. But I feel like even the plants I've gotten from like sellers here in the US, like Etsy and um, even like when I've gone into some nurseries for plants, like here local, like even the roots, the, the plants are never really perfect. I went into this, it was my favorite nursery. I hadn't been in for like a year cause we moved, it was in Santa Barbara and we went back in just to check it out. And there was these plants who had all kinds of bugs on them and thrips and mealy bugs and I was like, wow, like <laughs> these plants are fucked up. Sorry. Like that was my favorite plant shop. Like I loved going there. I still go there. I still love it. But when, when you see bugs on them, like they, <laughs> their turtle turn off, like you don't want to get any more after that. I was watching a uh, Harley Dew's video where she went plant shopping with her husband and they are going through plants and she's like, I really like this one. And her son really liked like a Dewey plant or something. And then she says that the plant she was looking at had like all these kinds of bugs on them. So she was like, never mind, let's leave. And that's how I feel sometimes. Like you go into these shops and the plants are gorgeous and then you look at them and maybe not. <laughs> I'm almost done. I feel like you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. It's all right if you don't. I know people are like, oh, I want to see the roots. But yeah, so just, it's mostly all, all of it cleaned up. These are thicker ones, but they don't, they're like, they're like aerial roots, but they don't feel squishy. The ones that did feel squishy, I already took them off, but like these don't. There we go. And if anything, I can chop off, I can chop off the plant in like different sections and I feel like the plant will be fine. It just needs to be watered like ASAP. So I'll probably cut off this leaf because it, it really should be cut off. It's already yellowing. This thing this is pretty dry. I think it's probably gonna go, but it's all right. We love it anyways. We're still left with three leaves. We might have less after all this, but you know what? It's it's all right. All right. How many is that? One, two, three, four. So last plants, the last rhododendron gloriosum. So I have my fingers crossed that this one's beautiful. If not, I'm gonna have to give my sister-in-law mine. It's mine I got from Chicago from this really cool plant shop. I wish I remembered the name. I probably, if I look at my bank account, I can probably remember, but I got it last October when we went to Chicago for some training and it was absolutely beautiful. And I had two of them in there. 
Um, I brought it on the airplane, but the bag it was in, the bag she gave it to me in, and it was a little beat up because we were carrying our stroller and all my kids' stuff, but it made the trip, and it's taken me a while, but it's, it's doing really good. Um, but that plant shop was absolutely amazing. I think some of the, some of the best plants and plant prices I ever saw were there in Chicago. Um, there's also this really cute shop. Um, oh my gosh, I am blank the name. I'm gonna have to like list it in the description. But the names of the shop that I went to, there was this really, really cute one in, I think it's, oh, it's in Geneva. There we go, it's in Geneva. It's the plant shop and I, oh my God, it's so cute. I'll have to put pictures on um, and show you guys, but definitely, definitely one of the cutest plant shops I've ever been. Okay, so there's some yellowing. Let me see. I think there's so much like junk on my table. And we're in my living room, by the way. Um, I didn't want to be at the dinner table. It's like too dark. And even though the sun's setting, we still have some light here. So here it is. It has some really big leaves. Look at that leaf. It's like the size of my face. But it's pretty big. I feel like some of these... Yeah, look, that's gotta go. But it has a new chunk coming out and a healthy root and some dry roots coming out this way, but let's see how it is. It does have one, two, but those leaves are probably coming out. So we're probably gonna end up with the one leafer, but we'll see. Sometimes it takes them a while, but let me lower all the stuff that's on, at least the top stuff. There we go. I think that gives us a little bit of space. And can you guys tell the lights are switching? I have like the worst lighting right now, but you know what? This had to be done. I didn't want to wait till tomorrow because they're just gonna get worse. I'm already hydrated and you know, the sooner we can get it taken care of, the better. So let's see if this can be saved because this is probably gonna be hers. It's so, I think the other Gloriosum doesn't have any green leaves. I was, like I said, I was really hoping for some beautifully, beautiful leaves. Can you see these people getting like their beautiful boxes? It's um, it. Okay, they're not horrible. It, it took me a second, but I thought they were like horrible. So I saw a lot of brown, but I guess not. Um. You're just gonna. These are gonna be my babies. So the reason I got all these plants is not really to sell them or anything. Like I know a lot of people do that, but um, when I when I take care of my plants, like that's my me time. And with my new baby coming in, I'm gonna need time. Like yes, they take a lot of time, and yes, they're gonna take a lot of my energy. And you know, we're gonna have to introduce my my son to my to my new kid. Um, but like I need time for me. I don't know if. If anybody of you guys know what it is to introduce a new baby, um, uh, give me some tips down below. But, but I know like plants keep me sane. During COVID, my my job shut down. I worked at Gold's Gym in Santa Barbara. Loved it. <laughs> That's the best team I've ever worked on, to be honest. Those guys, Marco, Phil, Matt, my front desk, Jax. Like, everyone was on it. Like, everyone wanted to succeed and, like, do good and be good. And even the maintenance team, like, Antonio, he's, like, the best guy. Um, if anyone's looking for a maintenance guy who wants to, to, who wants to take him to their gym, like, this guy, he's the best guy. Like, even now, I, I keep tabs with everybody because that's the best team I've ever been on, like, I don't know if you, like, you know, people talk about like being on the champion, being on championship teams and being on like, good teams. Like that was the team to be on. Um, whenever we would like go to these quarterly meetings, it was always like Santa Barbara and awards, Santa Barbara. And it was, there's three of us, three, three of our, three gyms, Uptown, Galita and, um, and, and downtown Santa Barbara. And we would always get awards because you know what? We all enjoyed working with each other. Um, like, 
we weren't best friends or anything like that but that was my family my husband used to get mad he'd be like he'd be like we are your family and it's like yes you are but you know that's they're my family too that's my team um for my first with my first son i didn't want to take that much time off because it's like that was my team that was my family and i couldn't just leave them behind like that um i don't know each job is different each job like you have people who are who want to work people who don't want to work but i think that was a team that I was like, wow, like, like I'll go, I'll go to war for this team. Oh man, okay. It's actually less raw than I thought. I know you guys can't really see everything, but they're just dry, 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 dry. But it's okay. They've had a long trip, a long journey, and that's the fun of it. I think that's the fun of imports. Like I've imported plants before and um and they don't come looking that nice and then you've gotta revive them and then that's the reward to be honest. So this looks black, but oh it's cause it's chopped up here, that's why. Okay. I was like, the root looks so good, but then you look at the top and it's all broken. There we go. <sighs> yeah, so if you guys have a team, just they're they're your, they're the best team ever. Go ahead and tell me about the story down below. I think this is a job or that job was a job that like I had to work the hardest in and it was the most someone's ever expected from me and it kicked my ass, <laughs> kicked my ass, but it's the job I love the most to be honest. I like my current job. It's just, it's not the same, you know, like when there's, when you have an A-team and everybody performs and wants to be an A-team, nothing compares. But the people I work with now, they're they're good. They're good people. I wonder if I chop it right here. Because it has a note at the top. Do you guys see that? What do you guys think? Should I just chop it here? And this has roots. This might just drop its leaf. But if I chop it here, it might have a chance to grow. Hmm. But the way the leaf is, I don't know. And the bottom one doesn't seem to have a node. So I think the bottom would just end up going. Oh, there is a node. There's a node right there. <sighs> what to do? What to do? Should I chop it? Just put this in water or moss. And let it grow. <gasps> what do you guys do? Well, it looks like it's going to sprout. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, this leaf is going already. And this leaf is going already, so I don't lose very much. I'll let you guys know if I decide to do that. But I think that's all the plants. Other than the Gloriosum, they're all pretty much cut and ready to put in water. And some of them already are in water. So, I'll see what I do. Oh. Just trim this piece off. So yeah, so I'm really excited that we got to go to the Equigenera pop-up. Um, it was really nice to see all the people who were buying orchids. I think at the end, I think they called him Dr. Uh, Dr. Drew or Dr. Andrew. This guy that was outside of the Botanic Gardens <laughs> waiting for his friends to come help him. He had uh, a wagon, bags, and... Um, and a couple other, uh, what was it? Uh, he had like another, a couple other bags that he had to take with him. He, he was walking to his car with his friends and he was like, man, if I would have had more help, I would have bought more plants. And I was like, guy, you have like 20 plants. But there was people who were walking out with like boxes and boxes of plants. But they were just so beautiful. I mean, it was definitely harder to turn them down. But I can definitely see why 
why people were um, getting so many. I wanted to spend more, but you know, with new baby coming, it's not, and then I already have some, some plants that need some loving. So it's not, it wasn't a good idea for me to get more, but thank you for watching. I'm so sorry about the glare, but I just really wanted to show you guys like what I got and what, um, what, uh, what we did today. And I'm hoping to be able to show you in a month or two how they're growing. Like I said, I'm probably going to chop some of these to, uh, to probably give them a better chance of survival. I'm probably going to just let them soak and then I'll cut them up. Usually plants are a little bit more hydrated, tend to do better. Um, so we'll give them 24 hours to acclimate. I'll probably put them in my bathroom with high humidity. My kids showers all the time anyways. Um, because if you know two-year-olds or three-year-olds, um, they get dirty pretty quickly. They like getting into mud, they like getting into dirt. And in my house with all my plants, like, you can definitely get into trouble, so... Hope you guys like this video. I'm sorry for the bad quality. I know we're on my phone, but it's all right. We'll see. See you at the next one.